Now, Joe, you actually talked about Sophie, and you said that she obviously played a huge role in your life, but you said that she also played a bit of a role in the reunion of this group. How did she help get the band back together, or how did she help you get to a place where you wanted to get the band back together? That's probably more so what I meant when I said she helped, just helped me personally. You know, I think mm -hmm. when we were all having these conversations, the closest people to us are the ones we relied on for their advice and opinion. And um, she never really lived through the years of me doing this with the brothers, and she she obviously saw a lot of DNC. So it, it was really helpful to get her take on it and also her support. I, I see her amazing relationship she has with her brothers, and mm -hmm. that's really encouraging. So this was an an important thing to be able to mend and, and, and to have her support meant everything. Now that we have you guys back together, we never want to lose you. So are the Joe Bros here to stay or do you think you'll still pursue individual products because you're individuals, right? We love right. you as a band, but you each have your own personality and, I, and your yeah. style. I think that that's what's so unique about this new era of the Jonas Brothers. We are celebrating the little moments, the big moments, but mm -hmm. also our individuality. Uh, it's what makes us who we are. but. Each one of us can do our individual projects as well. If we need a little time, that's what it will be. The Jonas Brothers are here, you know, and going to do it with Joe doing DNCE stuff. If he wants to do it, Nick movies, whatever it is, we're here to support each other in our individual goals along with this whole journey. Now, we got a little glimpse of your acting in that hilarious, bizarre video <laughs> when you were very sad that Game of Thrones ended. Yes, we're all very are you sad. I know. Are he hasn't gotten over it yet. <laughs> no, it's definitely still heartbreaking. Um, you know, we're, we're, all, we're all bummed that the show's over, but... Uh, we had a lot of fun. Nick came up with the concept for that video and really made it our own. And it, we, we feel like it was, it was really a good time. And it made even a great shoot with Harper's Bazaar even more fun. Now, I had a chance to talk to your wife just a couple of weeks ago. And I said to her, are you guys going to join these guys on tour? And she's like, honestly, I'm pitching the Jay sisters because <laughs> I think that would be huge. Would be. What is it like having them around now that you're all back together? That's got to change everything. It, it definitely does. It's, it's awesome. Um, now, especially, you know, I have my two daughters as well, and they're like here today, which makes every moment feel even more special, you know? And we had the conversation, I'm like, oh, is it going to be too crazy? Should I bring them? And Nick was very spot on and just said, you should always have them everywhere you want them to be and make it as easy as possible. And I was like, you're right. So it's, it's something to get used to, but it, with my kids, I mean, but it's definitely a lot of fun. How influential are the wives in the music, the fashion, the performance? Are they your best critics? Uh, I think they're our most honest critics, probably. <laughs> yeah. uh, but really? also, you know, incredibly supportive, and we all, you know, have very different relationships. And yeah. um, you know, I, I think that there's there's no doubt that um, finding love became a huge theme within this record as well. And Kevin obviously already had, Joe had, and, and was already writing about that. But as a unit, being able to connect on something, you know, a common theme there, and uh, so many songs on this album that I think fully represent the many stages of our life that we're in right now, which I, I think is the best moment of our lives and um, kind of insane when the stars align and, and three brothers who who had a very you know, crazy couple years to be able to experience that joy in the same time in their lives and write about it and, and make a record that they're really proud of. All right, now you've got to tell us about this amazing event because you have brought together your best fans from Spotify yeah, and throwing the biggest party. It's a carnival. Yeah, How did this come carnival. about? Well, Spotify does an amazing job of, of uh, you know, building great experiences for the artists and their fans. Uh, and they came to us and said, we want to do something with you for the launch of your album. What do you want to do? And I think as a joke at first, we all said, we want a <laughs> carnival. Yeah. And they said, we were like, great. We th that's, that's not, not going to be ideas. possible. <laughs> yeah. What if there was people on stilts and you win prizes? We pretty much described a carnival without describing one. And then they were like, so you want a carnival? Yeah. And then we said, yes. And then <laughs> they made know. it happen. Our weird dream came true. We have yet to see it, too. So we're really excited to see what they've came up with. Favorite carnival ride? Because you're Jersey Shore boys, I yeah. know. The, the, the UFO one. That, that, that makes really you stick to the wall? <laughs> that's, that's the most fun. That's probably the, the least safe one, but I love it. Well, you guys are anything but safe when it comes to fashion and music. I, know, I love it. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Thank Appreciate you. it. If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it.